So I've been warning you that the that the um, the word curse in the book of Zechariah is the word Allah, A L A H. All it does is drop one L. Or it could be that they added an L. Um, either way, it's pronounced the same. It's the same word. But I just recently found another word in the Bible, another scripture, that uses this word, the Hebrew word curse, and it's the word Allah. And it says um, Isaiah 24 6. Isaiah 24 6. It says, <clears throat> It says, Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. And this is that word curse, A-L-A-H. What I found was kind of interesting is that if you take the 2 and the 4, which is 24 there, and you add those together, you get 6. And also, there's 6 letters in Isaiah. So in that chapter and verse, um, and in the name of the book, is 666 for that verse. Isn't that interesting? So this, uh, remember that in the scripture, always God always warned the people that his curse, the curse would be upon those that disobeyed him. The blessing upon the obedient, the curse upon the disobedient. And so this is God's judgment upon all disobedient upon the earth. Um, and it's the only, there is no other religion or ideology that believes in beheadings, that cuts people's heads off if they don't, uh, if they don't swear, uh, you know, to their God or, or to um, bow down to their God. Now, um, interesting is that the when the Bible talks about the mark of the beast, the word mark has to do with an uh, has to do with an oath, has to do with a um, an allegiance, swearing an allegiance, and receiving an oath, and that's exactly what the word Allah means. A L A H means to swear an oath. So, folks, you see it. That's why Obama's not not attacking the. Um, ISIS. That's why he's not doing it, because he knows that, um, well, like I've been telling you, he's he's a part of it. He's a Muslim, and he's a radical Muslim. He's just in the White House in stealth mode right now. Um, and I think the reason why we missed it, for the most part, in the United States and allowed him to be president is because America's become blind, so blind. And not only blind, but asleep. Um, and so now we've got this radical Muslim sitting in the White House that's shutting down Guantanamo Bay and um, re releasing all these uh, terrorists out of uh, Gitmo. Um, I don't think really they're going to shut down Gitmo. I think what they're doing is just emptying it out. He's letting all these uh, leaders, these generals of, uh, of terrorism out. Uh, so they can, he knows they're going to go back and start, you know, he, he knew that they were, uh, that they were priceless to his, uh, to the, to their plan to take over the world. And so that's why he let them out. And um, so we see everything here. It's, it's, there's no ide other ideology on the earth that has this beast-like um, mentality. So you can expect that uh, that ISIS will continue to take over the earth, just like the Bible says, over the face of the whole earth. The Bible says, and um, and I, I noticed that the the name ISIS means a throne. Isn't that interesting? And isn't it interesting that the Statue of Liberty is actually ISIS, Greek mythology. 
So that's been their plan all along. That's why George Bush Sr., you know, that that's why they're so in with the Saudi Arabia because they they became Muslims a long time ago. They're secret Muslims. That's what the word um, means right here in Isaiah. I looked up this word in Isaiah. Um, not, well, not, excuse me. I looked up this word in Zechariah. It says flying scroll. And the word flying means to be obscure or to hide. And I believe the roll, that's the flying roll, I believe that roll is, is the Quran. And... Um, you you can look, you can try to find any other religion on the earth, any other ideology on the earth, and you won't find anybody that believes in beheadings. They're the only ones that teach that. They're the only ones that do that. And the Bible says in the book of Revelation that those that do not receive the mark of the beast, those that do not um, receive the name of the beast or the mark of the beast or worship the image of the beast, that they will be beheaded. That's what the Bible says. Well, there's nobody else beheading people that I know of. And when you have people that are more concerned about greed and money and oil, then you can see why they would side with Islam, why they would uh, side with, um, with this ideology. So there you have it, folks. It's a disgusting mess, but that's exactly what it is. That's sick, but it's the truth. And uh, also, Allah, um, the Arabic Allah, is the, in the shape of a serpent. When you look at the letters in, uh, in Allah in Arabic, it's actually in the shape of a serpent. So it's all there. It, you know, it's all been laid out for us. Um, whether we believe it or not, that's you know, entirely up to us, but I think everything's there. All the evidence is there pointing to this. Uh, I don't think it's all of the Islam, uh, all the Muslims, but I, even though I believe all of Islam is, you know, on the way to hell unless they accept Jesus, um, but I, I think there is a sect, a small group within Islam. The Bible says the Antichrist is going to start out with a small group. Well, Maybe this is exactly what they're starting with, ISIS. You have to understand that ISIS is the, really, Lucifer that illuminates the world. And the liberty that they're talking about is, is their religion or their ideology. The whole world will come under, the, um, under their, their God, Allah which we see in the scripture is the curse. The whole world's going to come under the curse. God said um, that if the people did not repent, he would send the curse. And he said that, um, he says to repent and to rend your heart, not your garments. Who knows if the Lord will turn and, and, and leave a blessing instead of a curse. So it all comes down to repentance. That's what it comes down to. A turning to the Lord. A turning to the living God. Now, if you're thinking about um, Kabbalah and all the, you know, all these esoteric, esoteric things, you need to understand that that's all part of the same. It's all Babylon. It's all Egypt. Everything, all all of these things lead to the same place. It's, it all leads to the same place, which is nothing more than mysticism. It's mysticism. So there you have it. There you have it. 